Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack. I make videos about all things tech. Um, I am losing my voice a little bit, so I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. And uh, yeah, I've been away recently too, so I am sort of just trying to catch up on some videos. But today I've got a few little interesting things to show you. I've got some accessories for the iPad by Muff. Now this is their Snap Flight Folio. I've got two color versions that I can show you. And uh, there's three different ways that you can hold the iPad with this, so we'll have a look at those. And they also sent me this, their snap case for the iPad. And this is actually really interesting. This is a super thin case that you can put on your iPad and then still use it when you're using the Magic Keyboard. Like one of the common complaints I see from people is that the Magic Keyboard doesn't protect the edges of the iPad. Well, this case should fix that. And you can use it with the Magic Keyboard all at once without having to keep taking the case off. So I figured we'd sort of unbox all of these together and take a look at them. So let's get right to it. And as always, there'll be links to everything in the description. So I want to start first with the Snap Float Folios because I just think they look really cool. And uh, these are available for a few different iPads. This is for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but you can also get it for the 11 inch iPad Pro, the iPad Air, and also the sixth gen iPad Mini. If we just take a look around the box, we'll see that it has front and back protection. It is scratch resistant. It works with the iPad's auto sleep wake. So when you open and close the folio, it will wake and sleep the iPad. It is an adjustable stand with three different angles. So we've got this sort of drawing mode. We've got sort of movie watching mode. And then we've got this floating landscape mode, which is really interesting. I want to see sort of how that works. And uh, I love Muff's cases and their accessories. Like I've looked at some of their accessories before on the channel and the way they just sort of open and they're kind of like origami. This is their wallet and yeah, I just love how it works. So I'm really interested to see how that works for the iPad. The float folio comes in three colors. They sent me the Sienna Brown. They also sent me the black and there is also a light gray version too. So let's get these unboxed. Oh, I love that color. So this is just like a crazy piece of origami. Um, I'm intrigued to see how this works. So this is the black one in here. Very nice. So here they both are. They actually feel, so lots of Moss accessories are made from vegan leather, which is just a nicer way of saying faux leather, but they do feel so nice and soft, just like the rubber accessories. And yeah, that I love like the, I'll show you up close, the leather like grain texture they have. I hope you can see that. It actually looks really realistic and it just genuinely feels really nice in the hand. And it's a great alternative if you're someone who likes the sort of look and feel of leather, but you don't want to use real leather products. So uh, let's see how this works on the iPad. So I've got my trusty 12.9 inch iPad Pro and uh, I want to try out the Sienna Brown first just because I just love that color. So it attaches to the iPad magnetically, just like Apple's cases. And uh, it should just pop on like that. And then we can, works with the auto sleep. Well, there we go. So it opens and closes and wakes and sleeps the iPad. We've got some protection along the side. We don't get protection along here or along here, but we do get some nice protection on the front and the back. And again, I just want to say how really nice these folios feel. On the back, we've got the Moft branding and a cutout for the cameras. And on the front, there is nothing, just the sort of the slits and the grooves for the origami folding. And I did just watch a tutorial on how the folding works. And they basically show you that you just open this up, push in here and, oh, <laughs> like that. And then you've just got your floating iPad case. And it's as simple as that. And this is like a lot higher up than you'd normally get from an iPad case. So if you wanted to work with a keyboard, you've got a lot more height now to work with. And uh, you can sort of type away. And you've got a lot more sort of vertical height than you'd normally have from an iPad stand. They're normally down on the desk. And I quite like this. This is, I mean, it feels really sturdy. I mean, give it a shake, but it doesn't fall over it. It does wobble a bit, but it's not going anywhere. And uh, yeah, that's a really intriguing design. And I like that you've got kind of got the contrast of the black on the inside with the sienna brown color on the outside. And because the top is open, you can of course still keep an Apple Pencil and charge an Apple Pencil on the top as well. 
It's a really nice way of using your iPad in more of a desktop style setup with the extra height, it really makes a difference. Yeah, if you want to use an external keyboard and mouse, it's just a really nice way to browse. Don't know about anyone else, but I really want to try out the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, you wonder when it's going to come out in the UK. I'll have to wait and see. So there are a couple of other ways that we can use the float folio. So let's take a look at those. So on the back side, you might have noticed this little kind of triangular flap. And you might think that to get the iPad into the traditional landscape mode that you would fold the folio out and then fold this up into that triangle. But uh, the actual way to do it is you fold it up through itself into the back so you can see the black inside part of the folio here. And now we have our other landscape mode. I just love how this folio looks. It just looks really premium and high end. And I love that Sienna brown color. If you want to use the iPad for drawing, well, you leave the iPad and the folio case set up like this. And then you basically just fold the iPad down and then um, you're in drawing mode. So this puts the iPad in a 20 degree viewing angle in landscape and it feels nice and firm, nice and secure. I feel like, you know, I can lean on it, I can draw on it. And if we have an option like Procreate, we can have a mess around with some paint and some colors. This is actually one of the wallpapers in my Marble 2 set and I have linked to it in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. It's the wallpaper that I'm using right now. And there's also a promo code as well. You can get 50% off both of the marble packs using code MARBLE50. So this is the Sienna Brown. And uh, yeah, that's just a really nice folio case for the iPad. And I do really like this sort of standing elevated view. And I just want to show you all the way around actually, just so you can see how it looks. Like, how cool does that look? How do they even think of these cases? So yeah, that is the Sienna Brown float folio for the iPad. And I'll show you now the black version too. So this is the jet black version. And again, we've got the moth branding on the back, the camera cut out, nothing on the front. And once more, it feels really soft, really smooth. I will show you it next to the brown, just so you can see both the colors. Let me know in the comments, which is your favorite color. I am kind of leaning towards the brown, but then, I don't know, the jet black just goes with everything. So I really don't know how you choose between them. And this is actually the 2023 version of the Float Folio. And Moff said that the triangle on the rear side is one of the new things that they added to add a bit more stability when you're in the landscape modes. And also they made the magnets even stronger, which is always good. So this is the snap case for the iPad. This one is for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but you can also get it for the 11 inch as well. And on the back, we have a bit more information. So this is fully compatible with all Apple keyboards, including the Magic Keyboard. It has Smart Connector pass-through, which is interesting. So this case is thin enough that it can work with a Magic Keyboard. So it has the pass-through for the pins on the back of the iPad so that the iPad can talk to the keyboard. It has really strong magnets. It has a holder and storage for the Apple Pencil, which is nice. And it looks like it's compatible with Mark's other accessories as well. So let's take a look. And I'm really sorry for my voice. I feel like it's going very quickly once more, but uh, let's get this open and have a look. So this is the case itself. I believe it does only come in black and we've got one long open side here, coverage for all of the other sides and a space for the Apple Pencil here and a nice big camera cutout as well. And these, I guess, are the smart connector pass-through so that the iPad can still talk to the Magic Keyboard. And we've got the Design by Moff branding and the Moff logo at the top here. So let's uh, have a go at putting it in the case. So we slide it up in and, uh, oh, <laughs> that was pretty easy. I was expecting it to be more difficult than that. And uh, yeah, the case is super thin, like it actually doesn't feel like there's a case on the iPad, which is kind of strange. We have the camera cut out on the back, the long side here, which I guess is to allow it to fit with the Magic Keyboard, and a space up here for the Apple Pencil. So if we just put the Apple Pencil in there, oh, it just snaps right in and automatically aligns itself and starts charging, which is great. And now, you know, if you've ever knocked your Apple Pencil off, which I have done that a few times, this should help stop that from happening as it's got a bit more, bit more protection now and there's also a hole on the other side, so you can 
pop it out and pick it up. So that's a really nice feature as well. So let's put it on the Apple Magic Keyboard and see what happens. So let's just see if it works. I mean, yeah, it works. And can we type? Hello, my name is Jack. I mean, yes, <laughs> it works. And uh, it doesn't actually add like that much bulk at all to the case, but I'm intrigued to see, can it fold down flat? I mean, yes. <laughs> And now we've got protection on all sides of the case. So the bottom of the iPad with the USB-C port, the long side with the Apple Pencil. We've got some buttons as well for the volume up and down. And of course the Apple Pencil holder. And on the top, we've got cutouts for all of the speakers and mics and the sleep wake button. And there's no protection on this side because of course the Magic Keyboard protects the iPad anyway. And yeah, like it's the Magic Keyboard, but better, I guess, because now you've got even more protection. And you can just snap this off and then you've got your iPad without the magic keyboard, but still protected by the case. So that is actually a really cool accessory. One of the most common complaints that I saw on my magic keyboard video is that people that don't like it, the reason they don't like it is one, because it's quite expensive, but two, there's no protection on the sides, but this case, I guess, fixes that. So very impressed. <laughs> I never thought that I needed this, but I actually really like it. That's really clever. But I guess now the question is, does the snap case work with the folio? So let's find out. We'll try it with the black version of the folio just because it matches the black case. I mean, it sticks. And it fits. <laughs> you know, I wasn't actually expecting that, but um, I guess it makes sense, Moff made them both. We've got the elevated viewing mode. We can fold up into the standard landscape mode, pop out your Apple Pencil, and go into drawing mode. You know, that's actually really clever. I didn't realize <laughs> that both of these work together and they all line up perfectly. Because of course, with the folio case on its own, you don't get the edge protection or a holder for the Apple Pencil, although you can use the Apple Pencil with the folio, you might still knock it off. So I guess you get that extra layer protection and the extra pencil holder to keep everything nice and safe and secure. What a couple of really well thought out accessories. Thank you Moft for sending me these to have a look at. I will link to all of these in the description if you wanna check them out for yourself. I do really love this brown color. Do let me know in the comments which color you think you prefer. And just because I've got them here, I'll show you the snap case with the sienna brown, just in case you wanna know what that looks like as well. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, that looks really good as well with the sienna brown. I kind of like that you've got the sort of the black edge and it matches the dark interior of the folio. And of course it works just the same as the black one. And they do also have the light gray version as well, but they just didn't send that one to me. So you've got a few different color options and color combinations you can go for. But uh, yeah, if you wanna check out any of these for yourself, I will link to them in the description. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and comment below and tell me which is your favorite color combo and which ones you'd go for. I'm really interested to hear what you think of these as well. And if you wanna see some of my other Moth videos, then I did make one on uh, their Moth wallet and their magnetic battery. And these are actually modular and they stack together and then they snap onto the back of the iPhone. They're really cool. And I also did do one about their Moft case as well with their neck strap. Great if you like to go out and take photos or videos a lot on your phone, you can always keep your phone to hand. And uh, I will link to those somewhere in the description or somewhere on screen so you can check them out. Thanks to Moff for sending me this to review and to you for watching and I will see you in the next one.